sketching. Oh my god, are you stressed? If you're new to architecture, you might not be aware how much we actually sketch. This is why I mention in my videos all the time, please go sketch something. <laughs> Sketching itself is a delineated representation of a concept that most architects and designers will have. Architects need to know how to sketch in order to convey spatial ideas. This is how the field works and I know if you are new to architecture, these tips and tricks are going to help you. You'll get more results and you'll have better sketches in no time. And here's a hint if you're new to architecture, slappy sketches are better. I have five tips for you today. Tip number one, straight lines are actually really hard to draw. You don't just want to draw with your hand and your fingers. Try locking your wrist and move your whole arm when you are drawing. It's a good way to get more control using your whole body, almost like you're dancing with the paper. Don't push your utensil into the paper either. Let it just glide on the surface. Limiting your movements, but also expanding your arm. Limiting your movement in your wrist is probably also going to give you the capability of drawing straighter lines. But if you want just that sketchy party diagram, literally dance with the paper. Two, diversify your lines. So in architecture, we use a lot of line weights to signify multiple things, including dashed lines, patterns, and fills. Shifting from thick to thin lines is a very smart thing to do. I would recommend investing in micron pens. They have various line weight thicknesses already embedded into the pen itself, just given the thickness of the felt tip. You can also use various pencil grades. They even sell various pencil grades at Staples, so it's you don't need to make that special trip all the way out to Michael's and get the fanciest box pencil set. You can do this on a budget. Even holding a pencil at different angles and applying different weights is really good. Number three, don't aim for symmetry. Symmetry is so like renaissance. Don't do it. In today's stylistic age, it's actually encouraged to be asymmetrical just because it adds more figures and illusions and creates more spatial opportunities to really advance and push your designs farther. Being symmetrical is deemed boring in today's climate and it's very predictable so I can kind of see where they're coming from, but that is what multiple professors have told me in the past. By not being symmetrical, this gives you opportunities to play around with lines, shapes, and other forms and creates more opportunities for spatial differences. Number four, smudging can actually ruin a drawing. Consider just drawing with pens or microns. You could also use tracing paper under your palm to prevent smudging. And the last tip for you guys is to use tracing paper. Tracing paper, I've mentioned in multiple videos, is going to be your new BFF. Because of its high transparency, you can layer multiple sketches and continue to build from your base level sketch or party diagram and just keep on going from there. Know that the design process is extremely additive and when you completely start over a sketch, that may actually not be super beneficial for you. The more layers of sketches that you have on a drawing, the better. I hope this video inspires you to start doing very sloppy architectural sketches. So pull out your pens, your pencils, grab that fresh roll of new tracing paper and sketch anything and everything and let me know how it goes in the comments below. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Um, if you did, leave me a like, comment, consider supporting my Patreon, and I hope to see you in the next video. Love you guys.